Here we go again. Just kiss and roll with it, people. Um, today I am going to do a spiral pour and I'm going to use, I'm going to bring back the old Swifty Swipe, the very crudely made, my Swifty Swipe. I just cut out a piece of the soft plastic file divider in whatever shape you like and used an old spatula which has that shape which is so it's nice and easy then to control a bit so I might use between the spatula and I might have a go with the um, silicone pastry brush is really lovely to swipe with and yeah so I'm going to do spiral pour so I haven't done a spiral pour for a little while okay that was that little um, paddle that I was I poured on I'm going to put resin on that but you will have seen the video for this but I'm just going to put some resin on that after I've done this particular piece of work so that's all exciting uh, I'm using today between the um, some of, the, some of the paints are the uh, Montmartre Dimensions and some are the Montmartre Studio Acrylics, all lovely paints and today I'm mixing them with the, the Montmartre Clear PVA Craft Glue because I've found this works equally as well as, um, equally as, well as the Elmer's Glue All and gives really a vibrant effect when when the paint's dry because I think it's because it's got no colouring to start with. I'm not sure, but it's much easier easier to get in Australia. I know if you're in America, you know you can continue using the uh, Elmer's glue oil because that's brilliant too. But that's just a lot easier for us to get, and it's just been giving me some marvelous marvelous results. So I'm going to get straight into it. I've literally got all the colours of the rainbow um, made up here that were I've been doing a few different pours with. I might not use every one of those, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to um, start doing pouring in a spiral effect and just yeah, go with it, go with the flow. So I'm just hoping that putting all these colours together like this doesn't make it go muddy. So it's just a wing and a prayer. Uh, the update in Australia at the moment uh, is that we've had, well, we in Queensland, right where I am on the Sunshine Coast, haven't suffered any of the bad fires, uh, not particularly round where I am. But obviously other people have. Um, but I believe that there's loads of places at the moment having um, having downpours, so that is wonderful. Um, but there's lots of others still suffering badly from the fires. So that was just a little update because I get so many people ask me for an update from somebody that's actually here. So that's as far as I know. But of course it's been catastrophic for Australia and the animal population here it's been decimated basically so be very difficult to come back with some of the species that we've lost so it's very sad but I won't um, dwell on it too much at the moment okay so the, the first color was the sapphire blue in the dimensions and this is um, a skin tone color that I just made up myself uh, I like having a play with lots of uh, custom colors and this was um, I just add white in it and then I put a bit of orange and then I put a bit of a spot of the burnt umber just to so it didn't look so candy color uh, so I'm just going through all these paints here so okay I might put a bit of yeah we'll go in. This is, again, this was the Dimensions paint and it was the yellow in Dimensions. Might keep that away from the blue. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got a bit of cloudy day today here, um, but it's only been drizzling and of course we're um, not on town water where we are, we're on a property, we're on tank water, so we desperately need the rain to fill up our tanks. So we were hoping for heavier flows, but it's uh, not that way. So we'll just take what we get. So this is the brilliant red. Actually, I think it was the red in the dimensions called Brilliant Red as well in the dimensions paint. So it's very, very bright and vibrant. And that's Black Cockatoo you can hear there which is a very rare in a lot of places. Listen out for him. That's it. Come to, come to say hello. It's beginning to look like a dark board, isn't it? Yeah, that's the I think they're called a yellow tail black cockatoo. They come, those, there's like um, a flock that come over late afternoon. They're obviously coming from their day out wherever they've been feeding all day. So this is the bright orange. Did put a um, bit of the real bright yellow in with it, just brightens it a little bit more. No. I've got that fly up here again. Shoe fly. Shoe fly. Where are we? I was going to do the actual middle swipe in bright yellow, but I'm not sure that that will be beneficial on this one. I might try it. I can always go back over it, but I'm not sure because I've got a lot of the oranges and reds already in there, whether it's going to be... I normally do the swipe in a darker, dark navy or a dark red. The crimson's very nice and purple to swipe with, but I'm not sure. So we might just have to try one little area and then um, go from there. I mean, I could swipe with the purple, I suppose. Oh, so I'll keep with what I was thinking of because I was trying to keep the darker colours to the centre. It's in my head, but whether it turns out the way I've got it in my head is always two different things. Just want to thank you guys so much for your support and you're subscribing to my channel I do absolutely appreciate each and every one of you and I'm so excited that I'm fast approaching 30,000 subscribers which for little old me that's absolutely unbelievable and I thank each and every one of you that have subscribed and if you're thinking of subscribing please do so I appreciate it so much and it's free 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 how about that then? So this is lovely turquoise, which I always, always love. Might be going overboard here, but you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. I think that's an English saying, I'm not sure why, but I'm sure somebody may know. not too worried about the very far reaches of it because we will be swiping out that way Ugh. 
Well, doesn't that look the colour colourful bunch there? Well, 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 well. Well, I'm not sure this little bit of navy here. I'm not sure. Just put a bit on the outer reaches, maybe. We go all the way around in a big spiral. Just enjoy it. It's all therapy. Cheap therapy. This is very cheap therapy, actually, abstract painting, and especially this fluid art. It is when you consider the price of therapy. So you need something to calm your mind. Just relax when you do it, and don't absolutely don't take yourself too seriously. It's just paint. Just paint. Okay. I'm going to just put in a dribble of the... I'm not sure if this black was... I'm not sure. Just a bit of black, maybe. Don't want to send it too dark. Uh, just pray that it won't go... Um, muddy. In... F Where are we? Okay, I think I really have done the whole caboodle of colours in there whole caboodle I never put my white in oh I'm going crazy I do want some white in oh I think no I, I've got to I've, I've made the mistake I never put the white in and it's overladen with paint as it is so I'm not going to I'm just going to risk it for a Swiss kit just try and give it a gentle tilt around the joint and the place. Just relax when you're doing it. It's all good. No need stressing out. No, my dear friend Jilly, who painted with me uh, when she visited Australia, she came over from the UK. She said when she paints, it just stresses her right out when she's about to, she gets really anxious. But as I said to her when she was painting with me, what, what's there to get anxious about? It's just paint. It's just paint. Relax about it and enjoy it. Nice process. So I'm still trying to keep that uh, spirally look, but I also want the paint to... Um, what you call it? I want it to level out, self-level. So uh, you just run your fingers just underneath the very edges and finger pop any little bits that you've got. Nothing has to be perfect. You don't have to use a special tool and lose all your paint trying to cover little bits up. Just finger pop it. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now that looks like a whole motley... But as you know, they usually turn out good. So we're just winging a prayer. I might just put a little swizzle, swizzle of the white because I didn't get it in there. But I should have put more white in this one. So that's my mistake. But you make a mistake and you just just go with it. Just roll with it. As the, as the plaque the says, just roll with it. Okay. That will do. I'm going to, I'll do the try with the, I was going to swipe with this really, really bright yellow. So I'm going to keep with that. I'm not sure, I don't think I should do a circle. I think I should do a cross like that. Hopefully there's a method in my madness or my just mad. But I will try to and I better put some around like that and we'll go from there I'm using my Swifty swipe this is my crudely made homemade duva um, just a bit worried that I'm gonna send this muddy but gotta just try it I think that that's going to go a bit dark, but we'll just try. That 
perhaps the wind pushing something about like crazy out there. Just finish this one corner and then I will use my little heat one just to see what we bring up and hope that it's not gone um, muddy. Don't know what's going on there. A lot of noise. My dog might be playing with something. Okay, looks crazy, hey? It looks, it looks as though the colours are not gelling nicely, but I'm going to put the heat wand on. <clears throat> so if you haven't seen my heat wand that I've recently found from my art supplier, my online art supplier, I'm calling it my magic wand. So it's instead of using the butane torch, so far safer, far easier, no changing of gas cylinders for those that are a bit uh, frightened. Uh, when you first started off, I'll, I'll tell you now before I turn it on because it can be obviously you can't hear me over this. But when you first turn it on, it takes a few, a few seconds to get the heat up. So, but um, does a wonderful job. Just definitely equal to the gas. So here we go. They are available on eBay and Amazon in the US, Canada, and UK. And they're a little heat one that's normally used for embossing, like in card and craft making. So. Paints that I've made up today are very thin, but I'm not liking the way those colours are going. Not sure if I should swipe diagonally would probably be a little bit better. Might try that one, but the cells coming up. Look at those; are gorgeous. Oh, they'll come up once once this heat gun's heated that paint. Look at them. Don't want, to do, don't want to do any more. Oh, but the cells are break. See, the cells are breaking through all crisp and clear, so that is gorgeous. But I might, because I want to continue with this yellow, I think I might do a yellow. I might, I might pour the, yeah, I might pour the swipe color down like this to there. And then go that way and then I might even change the colour of my swipe back this way. We'll we'll see. We will see. I'll just go around the other side rather than try to turn the whole of my canvas around. I'll just finish off this side with the yellow. And then I might change the colour on the other side. But the cells are coming through crisp so... That's all good. Getting some nice little cells break through there. But yeah, I've got sort of, I think I've got three different mixes of paint in there. I've got, I've got the, uh, oh no, two mixes. I've got the dimensions and the studio acrylic. So it's all good. No, no, will I or won't I? Shall I try just a, I might try just this side with the white, doing a white swipe. Not that I like white, as you know, for to swipe with. I like doing something that's out there. Those are coming through beautifully. But a lot of that has turned green, which I'm not that keen on. I do like greens, but I don't didn't really want it in that particular I know these colorful white uh, yeah this colorful um, paints that I've got underneath will probably pop through the white really nicely too so 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 might just give that um, some heat I want to see what the 
Well, they're showing you the different swipe colours and, and what a huge difference it can make to your work. So nice and easy to use, so simple, not dangerous. It's got a little duvalaki to rest it when you put it down. Too much, too much thickness right there, but I can um, do something with that. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Well, the white obviously looks crisper than these, um, the greeny effect there it does look crisper so i think i might continue on with the white rather than the yellow so that's a i'm going to continue with the white okay i might just try the little um silicone brush i'll just try it on the edge here to see if it makes any difference Silicone brush gives a great effect on I've done lots of other work with the silicone brush just gives a whole different effect than um, The just the silicon sheet But yeah, you've really got to keep wiping off your brush or probably best because you can end up getting muddy Obviously on something this size. It's easier and beneficial for me to keep swiping with my swifty swipe so I will keep going with that. Just taking it nice and easy. Yeah, this Swifty Swipes turned out good. It's obviously better as well on it, probably if you've got a smaller canvas as well. Get through that area again. You can see these the cells are popping against the white background more so than when I swiped with the yellow. So, but it's all good. It's all swings and merry-go-rounds, and you've got to try everything. Don't don't be scared to try and experiment. I mean, some of the best things come out of experimenting. I could very well go back over that with white, which I might do. To show you not to be scared of re-swiping because I'm not, I'm not happy with that um, particular. I prefer the white. Just holding on the watch cord, which is easy because I've just got it plugged in on a, an extension. So. Yeah, I much prefer the white because those colours are standing up nice and crisp. Oh, the turquoise there. I'm going to do it, people. I might completely make a big pig's ear of the whole lot by re-swiping over it. But I think that the white is the goer. The white is the goer. Give me a minute. Oh, I don't want the video to be too long for you guys, but I'll try with the white. That's probably too much, but when it dries off a little, I could balloon embellish the center. Oh, hubbly bubbly's turned up again. White's the go. <laughs> <laughs> White's the go. Behave yourself. <laughs> oh, just made it go a bit muddy. Look, John. It'll be fine. Well, it's pretty gonna... hot. <laughs> look at all those dots. Sorry? I said, look at all those dots. They're cells, darling. Cells. Cellmates. Yes. Cellmates. That's where me saying comes from, cellmates. So I'm either going to send that really muddy or I'm going to save it, but I can balloon embellish it down through that centre to make it look really pretty. Pretty, pretty. So, I think that I think that's going to be 
better in that colour. Look at that there. Yeah, I've gone a bit of a boo-boo here. I thought the yellow would be nice, but swiped in yellow first and it didn't turn out so good. But I'm sure I can embellish that. I'm sure it'll come up. Yeah, yeah. But look at these, they're nice. It's Ooh. gorgeous. Give it another hit with me. Oh, ah! Go on and took me heat tool thing out. Oh. Don't want this video to be too long for everybody. This is just a little game changer, this is. Like, just when John went out and bought me more gas cylinders for my torch and then I got sent this and I've been using it ever since so but I'm not saying that I'm not going to use the up my gas torch but I must admit I haven't picked the gas up since I've had this probably I'm going to let probably a bit safer pardon? probably a little bit safer in your hands yeah a bit safer and my um, son who's the fireman reckons it's a lot safer and wanted me to recommend that more so to everybody uh, it looks like oh, I'm gonna. It looks like it reminds me of in England we had um, a bag of sweets or lollies, and they were called jelly tots. Mm. It reminds me of jelly tots everywhere. Jelly tots, jelly tots. Maybe that's where I'll call this video. Uh, this piece is my jelly tots. You see, when you're looking through the camera, John, that it looks yeah. so much duller yeah. than the actual mm. work. Very nice. But okay, that's long enough, 27 minutes. I will put you pictures on at the very end of the dry version. And if I do decide to just embellish it through the center with my little balloon, which will be after about an hour because there's so much paint on there, I will put the photos on at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Really appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now just just giving you a quick finish at the end of this i obviously decided to come in with my balloon because those beautiful colors were all under there so it is a really nice idea to lift them all out and show them off uh, and what better way than with your balloon rolls and kisses so um i've done some balloon rolls and kisses through it uh <laughs> I was saying I don't want to do too much but of course I got carried away and look at the colors that just show up through that I mean you can really go crazy but it just it just really looks gorgeous and of course no two paintings are ever the same so if you're doing them for your own home for a gift or for selling there's no two people are gonna say oh that mine's exactly the same as that one because look at the gorgeous effects even if the paints fall in it still creates so much movement and color because you've got all that beautiful color underneath so look at look at what it does it just pop, makes it pop it is really such a wonderful thing the balloon I, I know I keep saying this and it's one of my favorites because every time it comes out looking so different and that that's beautiful I'm really happy with that and I'm gonna step away truly but I just wanted to add this quickly on to the end of this video to show you what I did thanks guys